We're back. It's time to get into the discussion this week. And um, it's at the top of my mind. It's at the top of y'all heart. Y'all know it's getting dark at 5 p.m. Um, October was dark. It's it, it's Halloween. It, it starts getting colder. Um, then we get into November, 5 o'clock p.m. The sun start going down. And, you know, niggas bring their hoodies out. You see me and Meezy here in our black. And we're here because knock, knock, seasonal depression is that you. Um, I've noticed the trend in myself and I'm not sure if Meezy, you experience the same thing, but what it's called is sad. It's called, um, seasonal affective disorder. Oh. And I've been looking into it because like you, like I told you guys, I went to a therapist. I spoke to a therapist. Um, in the past I've been diagnosed with depression. I think I said last episode that I stopped drinking. So things are hitting me a little harder this, this year. Um, so it's time for me to really take a moment and look under the hood and see what's going on with me because the feelings that I feel going into the fall aren't normal. So it led me down the path of like just some reflection Mm -hmm. on myself and on my life. And I ended up noticing a pattern between my lifestyle and the time of the year and the drinking habits that pick up and just going forward, how I finish off the year most times. And I noticed that your girl, your girl been depressed for a while. Um, just disassociated with everything. I think last week I told you all that I feel like a shell of myself. Most of the times, especially coming here and recording the episode, having, Problems focusing, having problems sleeping, um, low energy. I lost mad weight. Y'all, y'all niggas laughed at this shit too on Twitter. But after the wedding, like just lost mad weight, appetite changes, just the whole nine. And if you follow me on Instagram, you notice the change in my behavior. Like, and if you're my friend and you're, you know, real close to me, you notice a change in my behavior. And I think it's time to put a title on it. So I am coming here to come clean about my depressive state and kind of like fight back because I'm sick of it. So um, it's just something that I wanted to talk to you guys about as listeners and kind of just talk through it because there's no reason to feel ashamed about the way that I'm feeling things. Mm -hmm. I may not be the only one. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one going through these feelings of feeling like, well, why are you sad? Like you have a roof over your head, you have a job, you have a man that loves you, you have all of these great things, but you're still like presenting as sad, like you're heavy, your energy is down. You don't have much to talk about except for how early it's getting dark. You haven't been eating. You complain about everything like your energy is dark. So I just think it's time to address it. Mm. Uh, How does that make you feel? I mean, because you got that out, like, very, like, you got through it. But I, I feel like I'm still working through it. Oh. Like, I feel like, you know, I, I can say that I ha- have all of these great things, but at the end of it all, this is a, a chemical imbalance. It's deeper than what you have that's tangible. It's mm. in your head. Like, it's some, it's a voice literally in your head telling you, you're not good enough. This isn't good enough. We're not happy today. We should lay down a little longer. We don't have to do this stuff. Those people are t- like, it's just constant dragging down from within. And if you're not inside my head, you wouldn't know. Oh, that's so, tough. That's tough to go through that. It's been a challenge. Uh, I like to say that. I don't know. I don't think mine has much to do with uh season. But I do, I can understand if it makes me a little bit more, the sun going down earlier. And I noticed that I don't spend that much time in the sun to begin with. Like You know, D12 is, or vitamin D is important in B12 and all of those things that we get from the sun. I don't know if we get B12. I'm having a watch when you say vitamin D. But, uh, yeah, I, I noticed that I don't spend a lot of time outside. And so, uh, for the most part, it's uh, the house, in the car, work. Back home, so it's, I I'm never really outside, so I could understand like now that the sun goes down at like four thirty, I'm like, oh, I guess it's time to go to bed. Uh, some of my some of my moods have I I can I can see the correlation because for for as long as I can remember, 
I I would get once it got colder and hoodie weather, I would be a little bit sadder. But those like sunny days where the wind is crisp, it felt good. Seventy five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, like all the best, uh, the sad music have hits around this time. So it, I, I think it don't help. help but like uh, Summer Walker just dropped. Yeah, in. yesterday she got you thinking about all the heartbreak that you're not going through. Yeah, yesterday was the ten year anniversary of Take Care and. Know how how that album? Yeah, like how that that album shit is. dropped in October too, right? Just or no, obviously October, November. November. But like, it's a this album that feels very dark, even though it's uh, like some love song. There, it just feels like this dark aura, and it just feels like you should be in the house with the lights off and a candle lit. I so I couldn't <laughs> honor that album because, like we said, noticing a trend within myself around this yeah. time of year when that album dropped, I was in a dark place too. Like yeah. I was going. Getting drunk every weekend, like drinking and listening to Take Care on the way home from Philly. So that's a 45 minute drive. We listening to the whole album basically just to go home and fuck on somebody who didn't care about me. Like very depressed behavior. I also I also saw something the other day that said uh, casual sex has a lot to do with depression. Yeah. And the correlation between casual sex and depression is that. Uh, having casual sex with people adds to your self esteem because it makes you want to feel wanted. Like, oh, I could get whoever I want. Uh, I could do whatever I want. With this person, this person actually wants me. And I'm like, thought start thinking about this and like, you were like, maybe I've been depressed for a real long right? time. So I remember, like in previous episodes, you talking about that casual sex because obviously when we both weren't in relationships, that was a trend like, in our I life. Used to, when I you're used single, to, you have casual sex. I used to not want to go home at night. Yeah, like I used to like stay out really late. You know, like the till two a.m. Not a club because bar. you didn't. That was that was when the bar closed. Then I'm out looking for the next move. In my phone, trying to see who up or what's popping. Well, I started earlier in the night because, you know. I got started like 10. I was a fuck boy. But, uh, like, you start, like, trying to make connections because I used to hate having to go home by myself. And, like. And it's cold. Yeah, that don't really bother me. Nah, you know, it, it bothered me. I was. I'm a big blanket 20, guy. 20, 20 need, pounds lighter. I need that big quilt. Yeah. Baby. I need that. I was I was a little lighter and I wasn't wearing no clothes. But it yeah, cold. it made me think like, bro, maybe I have been depressed and I've been chasing for something for a really long time that, you know, I never understood because, you know, as black people, we don't go to therapy or we don't really go, you know, we don't get diagnosed with we don't. Know, ADD or ADHD or depression or anything. Like, we try our best to, you know. Well, I was fortunate enough to, well, not fortunate, I don't want to use that word, but I've experienced this in my lifetime where I did talk to a therapist about a decade ago right. and I was diagnosed and, you know, I expressed my diagnosis. It's hard for me to fucking say it because... I'm still coming to the realization that I've ignored this for so long. Mm. So when I got diagnosed, it's like, oh, yeah, y'all saying that, but I'm cool. Like, I'm straight. And I think that'd be the part that that be wild about it, because you can you can start to see like tendencies or mm-hmm. habits like I am a night owl person. And some of my best ideas come to me at three, four or five in the morning. And I'm like, bro, why am I always up like this? And, and like I look up, you know traits of ADHD and I'm like oh shit they stay up late right they brain moves at irrational times and I think we start to be like bro I'm just okay like I start calling myself I'm a night owl bro right you know I'm a night owl like I, I've been like this since I was a kid I'm a night owl and not placing that like you know what I'm saying uh, thinking all I gotta do is pray a little bit more and it'll help me or you know what I'm saying like maybe I I like really generally probably need some help to deal but with stuff like that. How do you feel when you stay up all night like that? Uh, for me, it's, the next day. How does it affect your productivity? Uh, generally, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, if I can make it through, I'll be all right. Like, uh, like I spent seven years working third shift, so yeah, I always true. used to. I'm. I used to always have to sleep during the day, so it's one of the hardest things about working third shift is like. No matter how long you do it for, it's really hard to get back to a regular or what people call normal sleep pattern. And so, like, uh, like 
So it felt normal to just be up at night. And so now when it comes to like me being up during the daytime, I uh it, I I get through it. Like I if I can just get just through keep it. Going through I ain't them. a coffee, caffeine type guy. I just generally, like if I need a pick me up, I might grab one. But most of the time it's just me off pure energy making it through the day. And I don't think that's healthy for like So I feel you when you say like being up at those hours makes you feel creative. Because it made me feel like I'm being productive, but right. the whole time it's just me fighting and sleep on my phone trying to find ideas or like trying to like put shit together. And it was it's it's hard, bro. Because like I be like I always feel this constant like I didn't sleep well. Then, like, me and Jazz, I have, like, conversations, and I'd be like, man, I'm tired. And then she'd be like, bro, you slept all day. Like, you've been asleep all day. And it's like, like no, I, I didn't just, sleep well, though. I, did, I just feel tired. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nuts. 